Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to 2064. Read-only memories tonight. Last time, we figured out a use for our spoiled milk, finally. And it was hilarious and glorious. Um, however, I have been given a small tip uh, through the twits, through the twitters, that I should go back and look in my fridge again. That there might be something of use there again. Um, so let's go, let's go, let's follow up on that hot tip, on that super good lead. Wait, what? Why do we, what? <laughs> what? Why is there, why is the milk back? We already used it. The fuck, man? Oh, the future's weird. We literally just used that last time, like at the end of last time. All right. Didn't we? All right, let's see what Turing has to say about the milk. Get that away from me! <laughs> okay, fine. Jesus, all right. We already used it, though, so I don't know what the point of that was. Just in case. Just in case. Can we take the normal milk? Let's let's take the normal milk, too. Yes, so we got the normal milk. <laughs> milk and super spoiled milk. Let's look at the milk. Fresh normal milk, not spoiled at all. All right, well, hopefully it doesn't spoil by proxy. Let's look at this date, this data disk. I don't think we looked at that before. A lot of Hayden's research. Okay. Maybe we should probably go give that to, what's his face, Dr. Fairlight or whatever? Look at the badge. It's old parallax badge, yeah, that's right. He got the fuck out of here. Let's go through the door. Oh, go right on through. Thank you, Nina. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> this is really cute. Okay, hopefully, uh, okay, good. So, um, Sympathy is off having a little bathroom emergency. So let's go, let's go talk to Chip again and see what else he's got for us. Did you want a signed photo? No, I didn't actually. That is the last thing I would like, Charlie. <clears throat> uh, look, Charles, we're just trying to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> it's Charlie. Charlie, right, okay, sure. And honestly, I'd absolutely love to help you out. Oh, really? Okay, so start helping them. Really? I just don't have the information you're looking for. Oh, really? It was your post they were manipulating. And that is supposed to mean what? I don't know. You tell us. I mean, we're talking to you, man. We're the one asking the cues sure here. I'm not trying to imply that I had something to do with this. No, or that not. I'm being targeted for some specific reason. Yes. But if you have an accusation to level, then make it known. I don't have an accusation, but yes, that second part is pretty, pretty fucking spot on. My time is far too important to be wasted on beating around the bush. Yeah. All right. That's fair. Oh shit. Somebody back. Ah, oh, dang it, she's back. Oh, God damn, I don't know what's wrong with my stomach. Please, please go away again, sympathy. And didn't I tell you to get the hell out of here? No, maybe. You're on my last nerve, and if you wanted to earn a grudge with me, you're just about there. Excellent. Move. Two birds with one stone. Damn it. That did not go well at all. No, it didn't. I tried to strong arm uh, Chuck there, and he didn't. he didn't go for it. We need some kind of leverage to get Mr. Nova to give us the information we want. Some kind of leverage, though, huh? I'm certain he knows something. Don't you agree? Yes, I do agree, but getting him to fucking spill... Alright, he was being pretty evasive. Indeed. While you were talking to him, I took the opportunity to look into his history more thoroughly. Okay, this is a good robot there, Turing. What'd you find out? It turns out he did a series of promos for a local Hassie bar early in his career. Oh, and some fans really? still spot him there from time to time. Gee, I think we know where one of those is. And I think it's we've got a, a friend shot, there. But frankly, everything about this case has been one long shot after another. And some of them actually pay off, so let's go let's go talk to Ramona, Maybe I guess. We should question the people at this Hassie establishment and look for any dirt we can use to put some pressure on Mr. Nova. So so, uh, hopefully this, uh, Hassie establishment is the same one we've been frequenting the past couple nights, yeah? There must be something. It's the only path I see. Alright, well, we'll go. Yeah, sure. The Hassie bar is located on Market Street, <laughs> yes. near the Genus Clinic. It is the we same can head one. head there whenever you're ready. Yeah, well, I, I would love to head there right away, but let's see what else Nina has to say here. Let's look at her again. 
the Infinity Hybrid receptions for TMI. All right, Nina, we got a few questions, honey. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, the door is open. Go right on through. No, I don't want to go through the door. I want to. Oh, come on. I just want to talk to her for a little bit. I guess not. Okay. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's let's go. Let's dig up some dirt on good old pompous ass windbag Charlie Nova. Let's talk to Brian first, though. Is he? Has he got anything One else to say? One simple failure will not dissuade our cause. All right. Well, that's that's good. I guess. You know, it's good for you. Okay, maybe Ramona's got some got some stuff for us. Who is that? Who is this? Oh, we've got a named character. That's important. Let's go talk to Ramona first, though. Hey, Ramona, what we're back. What can I do for you? Uh, I was hoping you had some time to talk. Sure. I uh, still have yeah. a little bit before closing, and I can use some conversation to distract me from the anticipation of the VR drama I have waiting for me when I get off. <laughs> okay. You know what I think about? What do you about, want to know? You know what I think about Charlie Nova? Uh, Charlie did promos for this place. Charlie is a complete trip. <laughs> he met when he was just starting out doing adverts. He still drops in every once in a while to hang out. Mm hmm. I love the guy. He's super funny, always has the best stories, and his hair is perfect. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm only really interested in his stories, so is he. Is and he, is he parties any... harder than anyone I know. Oh, okay. All right. That's something we might be able to use. A couple weeks ago. He invited me to this raid that's some cold that's probably already shut down. And he got so amped up on Crash that he jumped up on the table and hosted an impromptu dirty dancing contest. Oh dear, I do not want to think about that. I swear, if he was in Charlie Nova, we would have gotten chucked out on our asses. But it was a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm guessing you got some incriminating vids of him or something? If you want to meet him, just hang around here long enough. I don't necessarily want he to meet him. He loves mingling with his fans. Yeah. Not that it helps his ego any. Yeah, no shit. I know that. This is pretty innocuous. Pre pretty innocuous? You got amped up on some drug and did some weird ass dancing? That's not that innocuous, is it? We are going to need more evidence if we're to fabricate a believable story that will convince Mr. Nova it's in his best interest to help us. <laughs> During you're learning a lot of subterfuge, and I like that. You tell me about the VR technology. All right, from you the top. You don't have internal hookups, do you? The I owner do says not. are nope. all helmets that use electromagnetic waves to stimulate the neural pathways in your brain to induce the desired sensory input. Gesundheit. Okay, that's a fancy way of saying stimulating the nerves to give you hallucinations. It's pretty crude, though, which is why EM hats give you that dreamlike experience. I can't really say much against that. It doesn't quite feel real. Okay. The direct link network has way higher fidelity. It's like actually being there. <laughs> I feel like this is another like laser disc versus VHS versus Betamax fight just waiting to happen here. And since the direct link can interrupt your primary motor cortex, you don't have to take muscle relaxers to keep from flailing around. <laughs> All right, that doesn't sound like a very good idea though. Like a, a machine interrupting your body from doing something that's probably important. But some people are still scared off by it. Yeah, I can imagine why. Uh, why is that? Well, it's pretty invasive. <laughs> no shit. I already knew that. They inject this smart polymer into the base of your skull, right at the brainstem, and it crawls ah. along your primary neural pathway oh. and bonds to your major sensory centers. Yikes! That, oh, that makes my skin crawl just a little bit. I mean, I am totally into tech and shit, but oh. Ah, that description was not great. It's been safe for almost a decade, but a lot of folks are still pretty skeeved out by the idea of having a bunch of conductive plastic coating in the inside of their brains. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> Plus, Ooh. for the 24 hours or so that is hooking everything up and self-calibrating, you start to have intense hallucinations because of all the electrical cross-firing. Uh, okay. It's a trip, I'll tell you that. But no worse than the stuff people have been taking for a millennia. Watching the world melt. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, that's not really a great rationalization, but anyway, can't argue with if truth. if you're looking to get installed, I have a guy who does great work. You have a guy? Is this, is this guy a medical professional, per, per chance? Just let me know. Maybe later. <laughs> What's the VR drama about? Oh. oh, it's an ongoing drama called Magical Commander Yakino. Yakino at the Gates to the Deep. In it... 
you play the magical girl Yukino as she fights off elder gods as they arise from the ocean. <laughs> you know, I would say that sounds weird, but it really doesn't. It's a bit cliched and just about as silly as you would expect, but it includes some eh. really interesting intersection between the Japanese magical girl trope and the American Cthulhu mythos. <laughs> Please tell me something like that already exists. It has to. It All has to. Pseudo military theme. <laughs> not exactly a unique selling point, but whatever. In the newest episode, Yakino has to face off against the Yith as they try to inhabit the bodies of people in the present to escape their destruction in the past. Oh. Okay. How does a VR drama work? Is it like a Vigi game? <laughs> Video games are about winning and manipulating the mechanics of the system to get ahead, right? Uh, true enough, I guess. Dramas are more about inhabiting the role of the character. So an RPG is what you're telling me. There are rules, but they're mostly about behaving consistently in the fictional world. Okay, well... It's a bit like being an improv theater, except if you get too far out of your character, the system boots you out and you have to start the episode over. Oh, I don't know. So... Everyone experiences the drama a little differently, but it stays broadly consistent because you have to maintain the behavior of the character you're inhabiting. That actually sounds pretty rad. Yeah, it requires can't lie about you that. to really get inside the head of another person. <laughs> I like it better than VR games, but that's just me. That's fair, I guess. Uh, cool. It's the best. Super <laughs> awesome. It's if the best. If you need any other suggestions, <laughs> just let me know. Uh, sure. Maybe later, though. I played through a little bit of everything. I'm sure I could find something you'd like. Maybe a detective drama. Uh, how about a journalist drama? <laughs> anyway. Oh, lol. Thank you for time. Sure. Just let me know if you need anything. I'm uh, always happy to help. She's fun and cute. I like her. All right, let's go talk to this named character over here, Keith. Let's look at Keith. It's your friend Keith enjoying a hassy. All right. Keith, can I interest... Oh, no. I, had... oh, I was going to give him the spoiled milk again. All right, that's all right. Keith, how's it going, man? Oh, hey, it's you. Wow. Long time. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who's this? Yeah, ex I, I don't know. Who is this? I guess it's an old buddy of mine. Okay. Hey, not too old now. <laughs> yeah, you look pretty young, I guess. I don't know. Did you manage to keep that plant I got you alive? Oh, you're the dude that gave us the plant. Yeah. Yes, it's alive. Really? Nice job. Nice I didn't gerb. expect it to last a month. <laughs> it's great to see you, though. Well, sort of <laughs> surreal, too. Well, it, never it took us a bit to get that plan. Anything, you know? <laughs> to get that plan up the snow. You didn't see any of the pictures I put up from my last climbing trip in Colorado. Uh, probably not. I hope Facebook still doesn't exist in 2064. That'd be embarrassing. For a tech journalist, you do have pretty poor net presence. Hey, that is intentional, my friend. That's what I said. Hey, don't, don't you be bonding with Keith over my shitty ass net presence, Turing? Come on. Figures. So, uh, what's Ass. with the bot? <laughs> That's Turing, my, uh, my ROM. Yours? Really? Mm -hmm. huh. I didn't think you liked to bring work home, as it were. Hey, none of that, Keith. Anyway, it's great to see you. What brings you to the Hassie Bar? Doing uh, a review of that sweet weather ROM outside or something? Yeah, the, the weather ROM we totally didn't uh, bust into always snowing. We're actually on an investigation. All right, now that's the kind of journalism I'm talking about. Okay, well, what do you know about what's his face? Indeed, something, something we're Nova. We're looking into some accusations made against Charlie Nova. Okay, Turing, that's that's a good start. It's a good and start. We're actually trying to build up a solid case against him. Whoa, uh, probably shouldn't have told him that. No shit. Yeah. I actually may have exactly what you need. Oh, well, how, is, how convenient is that? My goodness. Charlie comes here all the time. You, you know that show he's host of Star in the Stratosphere? Yeah. Unfortunately, yes, we do know. That show where normal people try to become actors and singers and all. 
Yeah, I guess. Listen to this recording I made when he was here last month on his book tour. Ooh, all right, we got some dirt. So many people come up to me thinking that if they can sing or act, I'll just make them a superstar. That's how it works, isn't it, Charlie? But that isn't how it works. Damn it. Raw talent <laughs> isn't enough to get you by in this industry. And anyone who thinks so is lying to themselves. Yeah, they, that's that's true. That's like the first like unequivocally true thing you've ever said there, Charlie. It takes hard work and persistence. You got to want it and want it bad. Yeah, also true. Okay. But the kids I get on Star in the Stratosphere, which I host each and every week, as you all know, they're all so young and hungry. Okay. I love them. I do my damnedest to make sure they get what they want. But? They give me their best. So I'm going to give them mine. Okay, that's, that's not exactly incriminating here, Keith. You got something better for me? It's not much, but it might help you build a case if you chop it up right. Just keep my name off it. Ah. I post hiking pictures, not scandals. I see. Okay. Well, if nothing else, the threat of this dropping on the mess should get them talking. Here, I, I just made a copy for you. Wow, Keith, on the ball. Thank you. Anyway, I'd love to catch up soon. For now, I'll let you keep at it. You can usually find me here if you want to chat again. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, super helpful. Thanks, Keith. Okay. Well, that's something. Say, why did you tell Keith that I belong to you? Uh, mm, Turing, that's, uh, that's going to be a little uh, tough to explain. Ah, oh, shit. None, none of these are good answers, either. Ugh. to remember that I am not the same as any ordinary ROM that exists to be subservient. Yeah, well, I know that, but that's... Uh... I don't like being forced to assert my independence as a unique individual, but I really thought you were above this. Hey, well, what, what else did you want me to say? Those other two options were worse. Anyway... Whatever. Fucking... Jesus. Turing's all pissy at me now. Okay, so we got that recording, right? Or no? Well, what, what the fuck? If I chop it up real good, well, let's see. Now can we use the milk on him? Well, I don't want to use a pistol on him. That's he is my friend. I've seen you around here before. Well, I've been here pretty often, actually. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's talk to this random customer. Hey, he comes here sometimes. I don't really get why everyone likes him so much. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. A picture from this time you flipped off a box of kittens. Really? Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. There we go, we've got something to work with. <laughs> Frankly, I'm starting to feel a bit uneasy about this. Turing, now is not Mr. the time Nova's to get cold feet. An upstanding individual, if just a bit boisterous. Uh, more than that, I'm sure. But I suppose if we're in for a penny, we're in for a pound. Does that phrase even make sense in the year of our Lord 2064 anymore? This should be That's more all on credits or whatever, right? Evidence to fabricate a less than flattering image of Mr. Nova that the public will eat right up. Okay. Let us present our story to him immediately. But hopefully our delay but, has not put him in physical danger. Oh, I think I know why that spoiled milk is back in there now, though. At least, right? Okay. 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 Well, we've done some stuff, so let's, let's have a little save. Oh, just in case. Um. Uh. Flippin'. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough space, am I? Oh, wait. Flippin' kittens. Yeah, right. I'll remember what that means. Excellent. Okay. 
Let's head back. We'll see if uh, sympathy is still there. Hopefully not. Or maybe we should just give her some more spoiled milk laced coffee, I guess. <laughs> hey, you Damn. two. What? We just walked in the door. What the fuck do you want? I think I'm going to have to let security know that you're not allowed back in the building. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Got some stuff that might change your mind about teaming up. <laughs> Doubtful, but let's hear it. <laughs> Did we already chop it up into something useful? Never let it be said I didn't give someone a chance to dig their own grave. Hey, thanks. Uh... Well, damn it, none of these are really that great, like, individually, right? Partying problems? No. Ah, uh, shit. Well, let's go with the pep talk first. Uh, flipping off kittens is like nothing. Yeah, there we go. You're just grasping at straws. Oh, really? This speech was truly a beacon of light for the entire entertainment community. Oh, was it now? There's no way an original sermon like that is going to convince anyone that I'm a bad guy. We're not trying to convince anybody you're a bad guy. We're trying to fucking blackmail you into helping us. There's a difference. Well, with some creative editing. <laughs> okay, so we didn't chop it up ourselves, huh? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, this is just pathetic. Hey, we've got more. This is really your best attempt at blackmailing us? No. Not much of an animal lover, are hey, you? that's completely out of context. <laughs> no, it isn't. You flipped off a box of kittens, man. What more context do you need? And I love Captain Snuggles. <laughs> okay. Sure, we didn't get off to a good start, but he's a great cat. The best. God. Charlie, flipping off a kitten? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Whatever. This is still nothing but hot air. You need to step up your game, kid. Yeah, don't worry. We saved the best for last. Actually, this is probably the best one. Should have let off with us. So what? I like to show people a good time. Well, if that good time happens to be illegal. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> he did the little nervous smile with the with the teeth spir sparkle or whatever. Damn it, I told you to get off the crash, Charlie. Wah, 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 wah. Shit like this keeps coming up. <laughs> I did. And besides, I wasn't doing anything illegal. Really? You go public with this flimsy smear piece, I'm going to tear you apart. Well... Oh, enough, enough! I'm not cut out for this cloak and dagger game, Sympathy. What's the big deal anyway? It's not like they've got anything substantial ah. to use. Oh my goodness. He's, he's cracking under the huge amount of pressure we've done with the, uh, the kitten flipping off story, the party too hard story, and what was the other one? The, the pep talk in the Hassie Bar story? Wow. I might as well give them what they want, so they'll go away. Yeah, okay. That's the best idea you've had so far, Charles. Let's do Tell it. Tell them whatever you want. <laughs> yes, we got it. And I'll be taking that evidence. Oh, will you now? Good thing we didn't make copies of everything. Damn it. <laughs> you didn't have to do all of this. I would have helped if you had just asked. We did, you fucking idiot. God, you're dense. But it's always push and dig and needle, isn't it? Yes, well, it has to be when you're such a freaking airhead. I'm Ugh. not a journalist. I'm just an anchor. <laughs> I read off a teleprompter and look good doing it. Yeah, that doesn't take much there, Charles. Anybody could do that. I don't have much to offer you, but here's what I know. Okay, it's about time. Trust me, I'd love to lay down some earth-shattering pronouncement and dazzle you with my investigative skills. But all I've got is flimsy threads at best. Uh, and frankly, you're not a good investigator, are you? The thing is, all this stuff with my stories, stuff getting changed, making me look like I don't like the human revolution or whatever. It's actually all true. I am a huge bigot. It started after I had an upgrade made to my VR uplink hardware. 
Oh boy. Oh? Go on. The technically legal kind. <laughs> <laughs> the technically legal kind. Look, oh boy. I like to have a good time at a party, right? Yeah, you yeah, certainly do. But sympathy keeps hammering on me for pounding back too much crash and whatnot. Okay. Nothing illegal, but she says it makes me look like shit on camera the next day. Okay, that's fair. It's so I went to this to guy I know. Good guy. Everyone uses him. He's called Nanya. Nanya? Nanya business? <laughs> He does great work. Oh boy. After just one simple back alley brain surgery. Oh, bing, nice. Bang, boom. Nice back alley brain surgery. Well, hell, you couldn't trust that. Why I can couldn't use you an trust app that, to make right? My VR uplink have the same effect on my brain that the stims do, without all the nasty physical side effects. All right, that sounds like reasonable, I guess. It could be a coincidence, though. <clears throat> Uh, the tech guys didn't find anything wrong with my uplink, and they say the modifications check out. So you were high on the super VR drugs and you modified your own piece? But that Nanya guy does a lot of work for media people around here. So if a bunch of posts are getting changed, maybe that's your weak link. Yeah, and certainly not you, the dude who uses VR drugs. Anyway, that's it. All right. Pretty flimsy, but I'll send you the address and you can go talk to him. All right, that's something, I guess. Nanya's. <laughs> what a name. What a if name. If he'll even see you, that is. Yeah, well, if someone as charming as you could get in to see him, I'm sure we'll have no problem. Thanks for the help, I guess. Well, we took far too long to get to it, but I'm quite happy to assist in any way that I can. Yeah, uh huh. Just make sure you source me in your article, right? Yeah, will do. We're gonna include that picture of you flipping off that kitten, too. Maybe run a rough draft past me and I'll give you some quotes. Yeah, sure. I'm certain that'll help signal boost the story all the way to the stratosphere. Oh boy, okay. That's enough, Charlie, thank you. Give it the old Charlie Nova bump. Ugh, please tell me that's not a thing. Maybe we can smooth out all this silliness between us. Uh huh. Anyhow, I really have to get back to work. Really? You got you got a long day of standing there holding your vest like a pompous asshole. Let me know how it goes with the murderous hacker thing. My rom will call your rom. Oh yeah, great, awesome. Fucking dumb. All right, let's see what we got. Or something. All right, let's talk to sympathy. I film for my friends. You'll get very little of me. All right, fair, fair. Let's uh, say hello to Nina on our way out, and then we'll be we'll be on on to bigger things, I guess. Oh, go right on through. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, no, I don't want to go through. I don't want to get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Let's go to Nanya's. Oh my God, what was that? This looks like the spot. Yeah, it looks like a good place. I'm awfully nervous and still a bit shaken up. All right, don't don't worry about it. It's let's fine. Let's hurry and get out of here. Okay, let's just let's just look around, man. A box of donuts. Stale looking donuts. Let's take those donuts. Oops. Reaching past a professional wrestler. That's a professional wrestler. Let's take the donuts. Let's take the old donuts. Wait, those are. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> We're already carrying spoiled milk. Yeah, me as well, right? Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Oh my god, these, oh, I did recognize these people. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's look, let's look at shit here. <laughs> Tough boy, that's a good gang name. <laughs> Isn't there a phrase people say when they see this? Oh my way. Omiwa mo shindeiru? Shindeiru? Oh man, I am. Oh my god, look at that face. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let's look at junk. This is genius! Contrast to the artist's color to the walls, the way the letters stretch out, not to mention the extended punctuation. Oh yeah, boy. Who are the junks and to whom are they unworthy? That is a good ass question, isn't it? Take a look around. Air conditioner. Let's 
talk the air conditioner? Uh, it's not a very hot topic. Uh, rather tepid. Let's use it. <laughs> Level 23, lol. You optimize your Cyberpunk CP points, go to the Sphere Select screen, and apply your ability orders to the. Oh my. Wow. Okay. That's laying it on a little thick. But whatever. We'll go with it. Let's look in the window. Alright. Let's use the window. Too high to get a grip on, even when jumping from the sidewalk. Alright, let's talk to the window. Hmm. All right, let's talk to these upstanding people. Take the rubbish. 16 different health notifications advising against that. <laughs> Can we talk to the rubbish? Health and trash proximity should always be kept at maximum distance. <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's talk to Cactus Canary, I guess. Our aerodynamic assault will rain down on you from the heavenly skies. Okay. Roger that. My name has some pretty cool history behind it. Does it? We're some badass ladies who'll bomb hellfire on anyone. Okay. Let's, uh, let's open the business door, I guess. Hold up there, Speedy. What? What? Who said that now? That wasn't neither of these two. Hi, what's up? Who are you? I've never seen the two of you around here before. No, oh, that's... And I know everybody. Okay. Who are you, question mark man? <laughs> hey, Sam, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, they did just warn me that they would bomb Hellfire from the Heavenly Skies or whatever. Why is this dude carrying a microphone? Like, I know 2064 is far flung, 47 years in the future, but I don't think people carry microphones with them. Why don't you let me know what's going on here first before you start barging through people's doors, feel me? I do not feel you, brother. <clears throat> uh, Turing. Uh, Turing, please don't. Let me do the talking, please. We're just here to speak to Nanya about something. Ah, ah, ah. Just got into town and you're already asking favors from folks, huh? Just got into town. I, I live here, you mother... Mm. Okay, I don't like this guy pisk, already. Pisk, pisk, my little blue friend. Is like a Y around his neck or something? What the hell? What? No, it's not like that. Listen, we don't want any trouble, but we're kind of in a hurry. Oh, dear. Trouble? There's no trouble here. Oh boy. We can be friends. Oh no. Oh, this is not starting off. Yeah, okay, okay. Here's the practical response for what price. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah. You're a little more street smart than your blue bot buddy here, I see. Well, this blue bot buddy broke into my apartment, so I'm kind of stuck with him for now, so. No, I like you too. Oh. You're cool in my book. All right, so can you then step back so we can go in that bar door, please? Please? And. Since we're all such good friends now. Oh dear. Maybe you'll be willing to give back to the community and do a favor for your new pal, Formula, first. Formula. That explains the four, I guess. Wait, why would I do. Uh. <laughs> what kind of a name is Formula? You know what? Probably best not to antagonize this dude. What kind see, of a favor? I'm a budding street musician. Are you now? Okay. Working on my next big hit. Feel me? No. You asked me that the first time, and I do not feel you. And I but would not I'm like to feel stuck you. On a few lines. I just gotta get these last few rhymes right. Oh dear. Okay. Maybe what you, you got? Share a little of your creativity with me and see what we come up with. Are you? Are you serious? Okay. All right. Hey. Whatever. Uh, I need to be fun. All right, that's really weird. Okay, maybe we could try to help you. Are you sure about this? Not really, no. Not really, no. <laughs> you know how important this has become. Yes, I do, but listen, I don't want to fucking use the pistol on this dude, so let's just let's just go with Time it. Time is of the essence. Ugh. 
You don't have time to not help me. Yeah, see, see what I got to work with here, Formula? Huh? What? What do you think would take longer? Helping an up and coming Cena songwriter finish a guaranteed worldwide hit? Or. Or you could ignore me and maybe I'll send over an anonymous tip to the Neo SFPD. Uh. You see, I know for a fact that everything inside this shop here is 100% legal. But I bet whatever you got in your mind sure ain't. Yeah, okay. That's supposed to scare me? I got friends in the PD, you, you little fucker. <laughs> Even if they didn't find anything. It'd take the rest of the day to iron out. Uh, yeah, I suppose you have a point. People like you don't come down here for anything boring. We clean up good. How well do you cover your tracks when you're in such a hurry, I wonder? Uh, pretty poorly, if uh, our track record is anything to believe. This isn't good. Turing, exactly. Let's just do this and be on with our if lives Lexi here. Lexi in particular gets suspicious and starts tracking us down, things will become rougher for us. Okay, well, don't fucking spill our contacts name to him, <laughs> idiot. Not to mention all the other people it can <clears throat> indirectly affect. Okay, yes, yes. Who are you trying to convince? I've already wanted to help this dude so we could get by him, all right? This whole case is life or death. Huh. Kind of a dramatic rom, ain't it? Yeah. They are. They are, Formula. They sure are. But I made my point clear. If you don't help me out, I'll make sure you never get in to see Nanya at all. He's my buddy. Done me a favor or two, so I return him when I'm asked. Yeah, uh huh? Okay. That's how we do things around here. Is it now? I, I was already agreeing to help you. Why are we... Uh whatever I knew you'd see it my way I already did it was Turing that was being a little a little whiny about it right all you gotta do is help me complete my rhymes you dig okay yes I dig a couple of them are just missing a word or two but if I really want to make this song fantastic I'm gonna need some killer inspiration it's gonna be right. super cred super cred is that what the kids say nowadays super cred Anyway, you ready for this? Yeah, let's let's do it, dog. Let's let's do it. Gonna give it a shot. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, sure. I mean, what have we got to lose other than sanity? Here's the first line I'm having trouble with. <laughs> I'm having trouble. With. <laughs> you ready? Yes. For fuck's sake, we like answered that four times now. Yes, we're ready. Let's do it. It's my favorite season, only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of, uh, hang on a second. True meaning of... A holiday cheer. It's my favorite season, only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of my holiday cheer. Hell yeah, that's sick, dog. Hey, yeah, that <laughs> totally works. <laughs> Super dumb. Okay. Great idea. Thanks a ton. Yeah, okay. Can we go talk to this Nanya dude now? Here's the next line. Ah, fuck. All right. Let's go, brah. Ready? Yes. Pay attention now. Okay. If you bring mistletoe, you knock me off my guard. And if you want my number, I'll... I'll... Um... This dude is terrible. Hmm. You know, for this one, I don't think words are going to be enough. Uh, well, what the hell else? I'm gonna need some inspiration to make it come together. Inspiration, huh? If you've got anything to show me that you think will help me out, let me know. Guard? What? Uh... <laughs> Janky box of donuts, that was, that's what we picked up, huh? It... Something guard? What? Knock me off my guard. Something something card, I guess? I don't know. I'm just going for rhymes still. Let's try the card. Here. Have a card. If you bring mistletoe, you knock me <laughs> off my guard. But if you want my number, I'll give you my business card. Alright, that works pretty well, I guess, right? Hey. Yeah. That totally works. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Super 
Superdome. Really? Thanks so much. I'd never be able to write a song like this without you. So, so what's up then? We we tight? We tight bros here? Can we go talk to this dude? A Christmas themed love song? Yeah, it's a little cliche, but what are you gonna do? Aren't those supposed to be pretty tacky? <laughs> All right, now I need your help with just one more line. Okay. I promise it's the last one. You promise, huh? And Formula keeps his promises, right? This one's been driving me up a wall. I hope you can tackle it as well as you did the others. Well, we're two for two. Ready? Make Here a, we go. Make a hat trick, I guess. <sighs> this is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a nice pair of, um, damn it. Headphones. My goodness, dude. Please. This is getting embarrassing. Yeah, you for you. <laughs> There's no way to salvage this one without some seriously fresh inspiration, yo. Yeah, okay. Don't lose hope. I'm sure it'll hit us any second now. Yeah, it sure will. Seek. Headphones. This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of GX Ultra Beats. Wait, what? That doesn't rhyme. It's headphones, you idiot. Not the... F oh, my God. Oh man, you totally threw off my style with that one. All right, sorry. Let's give I'm it another keep go. Thinking, but let me know if you come up with anything new. Why wouldn't it be headphones? Haven't you ever rapped before? <laughs> Lol. All right, what else do we have? I could just use the brick on it. Like what? How could what? <laughs> Like, are you serious? How could it not be headphones? Okay, I was giving this guy too much credit. Something, something, something. Oh, god damn it. Look at the brochure. All right, so it's something. This piece of brick. <laughs> uh, okay, um... Can we give him the spoiled milk? <laughs> Let's try the spoiled milk. All right. Uh... This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of milks. <laughs> <laughs> pair of milks. Yeah, that's right. That sucks. <laughs> hey, come on now. We're trying our best. Oh man, you totally threw off my style. Okay. I'm gonna keep thinking. Do you even know how to rap? Ugh, what else do we have? Like, what else can we use on him? <laughs> Fuck this! <laughs> Zap! <laughs> there is something. Like, what? Like, he used the totally wrong word when we gave him the headphones, so that's not going to do it. But we probably shouldn't try to start anything with these professional wrestlers standing around, so... Let's try the brochure? I don't know. This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of pamphlets. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna keep thinking, but let me know. Come on, aren't you a writer? Well, that's all the items we got, pretty much. Well, what the fuck? All right, let's have a look around, I guess. We can't take any drinks out of the bar. Uh... And if I, if I show him the headphones again, will that do it? Let's try the headphones again. 
this is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of GX Ultra Beats. Just use headphones, man. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. Fuck. All right. Um. Hmm. Oh man, you totally threw off my style with that one. Hmm. Okay. What else we got? E card. We tried the milk. We tried the headphones. We tried the pamphlet. Didn't try the donuts. Didn't try the donuts. Let's use the donuts. Let's try the donuts. As much as I don't like listening to this dude's rap because it sucks, but let's do it. This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of gummy Christmas scones. What? That was a box of donuts, not scones. But all right, fucking whatever. Sure. Uh, he does know those are donuts. See? Right? Yes. Thank you, Turing. Thank you. For fuck's sake. Now that's what I call a tasty beat. Scones my ass. Those were not scones. That was amazing. I can't believe you pulled it off. I can't believe you thought those were scones. Whatever. Whatever what do you know? do for work now, it doesn't matter. You should become a musician. Yeah, how about I get a 50% royalty on whatever that stink bomb of a song you just wrote makes. We totally become rivals, and I bet you that... You bet me that... On second thought, you keep your day job. This is my territory. You feel me? Sure, Formula. I but feel you. You did help out in a huge way. So I guess you're cool. Christmas scones. <laughs> so dumb. Go on in oh, and see okay. Nanya whenever you want. I'll just be chilling out here, soaking up the inspiration of my surroundings, baby. Yeah, you do that. Here, you can keep the dumb. Uh, scones. scones. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. We don't have any stale ass donuts to go with our spoiled milk. It was Unfortunate. nice meeting you, Four Moolah. <clears throat> hey, you too, little Bob Blue. <laughs> hey, that kind of rhymed. Yeah, sure, it rhymed. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Turing and I on the same page. Let's just go. Let's have a look around first. Oh, there's those guards inside. All right, let's head on in. Let's talk to Nanya. Nanya business. Oh boy, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Look around. Hmm. Look at the wires. Touch the wires. <laughs> Uh, let's use the panel. Screws are practically shredded. The panel casing isn't going anywhere. Well, all right, what else we got? Long augments, spine augments, cybernetic arms, all made by the dynamo brain. Look at the operating room. <clears throat> Still make out the basics, table, stretchers, complex looking surgical equipment, and supply cabinets. Looks like a couple people in there. Just hanging out. Surgery in the progress. All right, anything else? Anything else? Any other hot spots? No? All right. Whoa, Jesus. That dude. Are you Nanya? <laughs> let's, let's look around. Large circular screen scrolls through upgrade options and parts available in the store. <clears throat> Not exactly prime advertising real estate, but ads an ad, right? Oh, he's got an old CRT monitor. Holy shit. No, I know what that is. I don't need to ask what that is. What is that? This is known as a CRT monitor. <sighs> Almost yes, nobody Turing. still uses them anymore. They're very outdated. They are very outdated, but good for the Vigi games. Or so I've heard. Desk looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> nice. Okay. The other hot spots? No? We good? We good? All right. You Nunya? Nunya business? Nope. Nope what? Nope. I don't know you. You got someone willing to vouch for you? If not, get out of my shop. Uh, who told us about you? Char Charlie told us about you, right? Oh, boy. 
I'm guessing Formula was blowing some smoke about knowing this dude. Just a hunch, so Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. yeah. I remember him. That TV guy runs his mouth a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's him. Got him to a T. Hey, good enough. All right, then. What can I do for you? I'm just going to accuse you of modifying his crazy future blog posts to be super nasty. Sure, if that's what you want to call me. Okay. If your credit's clear, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the non your business. <laughs> Enough foreplay. What can I do for uh, you? Nice. Cutting right to the chase. Okay. A fresh install, custom <laughs> firmware, maybe an upgrade. All those sound real I can nice. I pretty much do it all. But most people come in here for VR implants. Well, you know, Ramona did did give, give us a pretty hard sell about that stuff. Turns out brain surgery is expensive. Yeah? Yeah. We're here in a different kind of business. We're in a bad situation. Local news articles are being mysteriously altered after they've been posted to the mesh, even while the originals are still online. Charlie Novas are being manipulated as well, and he pointed us in your direction. <laughs> Charlie sold you out, it my didn't man. didn't start happening until after he had his implant upgraded. Oh, Turing, that shade. Probably not helping us out right now. All right, well, let's let's cut to his kind of issues. Have you had problems with the what revolution? Are you, cops? No, no, no. We know a cop. She doesn't no, like us. Worse, you're journalists. Oh shit! Worse than cops, man. Get the hell out of my shop! Wow, dude's not happy. I have a business to run. I don't have time to answer shit about shit that don't got shit to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> you found the door before find it again and tell Charlie he can get someone else to do him a rush job when he's back on stims and needs a workaround ah uh, suck that Charlie he ain't welcome around here anymore <laughs> give us a moment please <laughs> I don't know about you but I'm getting tired of being given the runaround by these meat bags <laughs> Oh, meat bags, huh? Turing, I'm a meat bag. We could just find some bribe or blackmail to get what we want from this <clears throat> Nanya. But I think it's time to take matters into our own hands. Oh, dear. Are you suggesting we use that pistol that Lexi gave us before, Turing? I have an idea. Keep him occupied for a few minutes. Uh-oh. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Just do what you normally do and ask questions. But he doesn't like journalists. That's not a Nothing good idea. About the blog post, though. We don't want to set him off. Just keep him talking. Okay. All right. We'll 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 do what we can, I guess. Fuck's sake. It'll only take a minute. A minute. All right. Sixty seconds. That's what I'm giving you, Turing. Better be fucking Are you right get about going, this. Or am I gonna have to call someone to make you get going? What? You just gonna come around that desk and make me get going yourself? Lazy bitch. Mm. He already looks pretty pissed. We better not taunt him a little bit. <laughs> uh, um. We don't think he had anything to do with it. I didn't. Okay, good. We're getting somewhere. We were just hoping to get some more background information on the kind of implant he has so we can follow other leads. Uh. Shit. Fine. Whatever. Yeah, see? Back your shit off, Nanya. I'll tell you what Ass. you want, within reason. Okay, see, we defuse the situation. confidentiality and all that? Yeah, because I'm sure you follow the letter to law pretty closely, don't you, Nanya? Just promise me it'll get you the hell out of my shop a little sooner. Maybe, depends on what you tell us. Deal. <laughs> Sorry for this. Our circumstances have gotten serious. We're following anything we can all the way to the end. There's no way to hack a VR implant like Charlie's. Oh, really? That sounds suspiciously absolute. I mean, you can definitely install hostile firmware on one. Yeah, But you can't okay. just load whatever program you want without the user's knowledge. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you a little bit about software. <clears throat> you can install shit, you can do anything. 
Any changes to the loaded firmware will trigger some really obvious visual indicators to let you know something's being changed. And those are put in on the hardware level. <laughs> so? <laughs> I've never heard of anyone being able to circumvent them. The only person who could have loaded hostile firmware on there is me. Well, you're not really painting yourself a good picture here, Nanya. And don't try and go there. <laughs> I get paid too much to risk my reputation over changing a few blog posts. Yeah, you know, that's actually a really good point. What about using the mesh to mess with the implant? Is there some way to change the input remotely? Probably, if you're using the default passwords for everything, right? No, the implant itself doesn't have any kind of wireless connection. You have to use a headset with an induction coil for I.O. Wireless just doesn't have the bandwidth for it. Whoa! Even 47 years later, they don't don't have, like, Y... 10 gig or something like that? You might be able to try infecting a ROM with some virus that screws with the I.O. But you only use a connection to a ROM for AR hunts. They can't handle full simulation. You'd need a full rig and a hardline connection to the net to do that. Okay, alright, alright. So... I'd give it a big maybe. <laughs> if that's actually how it all happened, they probably would have found whatever infected is ROM way before you showed up here to bother me. A big maybe, huh? That's not, uh, not inspiring. Have just been faulty parts? Not to be too blunt about it, but this field of expertise is a little disreputable. Maybe your supplier sent you an implant with something fishy preloaded. Yeah, there you go. Turing, be a little smugger about that, please. Damn it. <laughs> Look, I get it. I'm working out of an old auto garage on the bad side of town. Yeah. But I'm a fully licensed cyber surgery tech. This entire business <laughs> is legitimate. A cyber surgery tech, so you're not even a, a technically not a surgeon, so... It isn't illegal to install custom parts or firmware in any current generation implants. It just breaks the warranty. <laughs> Current generation, you say? What about next generation, though? My business keeps a low profile, so we don't run into bogus patent infringement lawsuits from Flower Cybernetics or whatever shell company they decide to come after you with. <laughs> Flower Cybernetics, huh? I think we might have a contact there we could go talk All about. All of my parts are sourced direct from the original manufacturer. Completely above board. Yeah? Wanna tell me what that manufacturer is? Give me a name. So if they're bad, they were built bad by the factory. Okay, that's possible. Now, is that all? No. I have appointments to keep. Yeah? You look like a real busy guy. I guess that's all. Thanks. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> what if I talk to him again? Is he going to be all pissy? I've done nothing wrong. Are we done? Yeah, I guess. All right. That doesn't give us much to go on, though. I guess we could go talk to... Uh... You may not know this, but I have a finely tuned sense of electromagnetic fields. All ROMs do. Okay. We need to be able to maintain optimal contact with the mesh, catalog and use various wireless transmissions, and avoid areas with dangerously high interference. Okay, yeah, yeah. Your stock off-the-shelf ROM has very little command over the frequencies available to be scanned. But I'm starting to realize how very little of me is stock or off the shelf after the changes Hayden made. What are you suggesting, Turin? That means when the humidity is low, the air fairly sings for me, amongst other things. Okay. True enough. Yeah, you lost me somewhere in there. Meaning, in layman's terms, I could read That's his monitor over smile. his shoulder while being across the room. Oh, yeah, the whole reading the vibrations and EM fields of the monitors shit. Yeah. Okay, that's well, actually some, legit. I doubt I could have handled an LCD monitor. They require extra parts I just don't have. And the fidelity is a bit low. <laughs> Sick past burn, bro. Anyways, Nanya looked up his client records on Charlie, and I got some of the names of his oh, other customers off of the spreadsheet. Nice. Nice! That's some good-ass subterfuge right there. So that fucking old-ass, crusty-ass CRT helped us out. One in particular stands out. Shotaro Otsuka. Okay. 
What's the relevance? Mr. Otsuka is a moderately prominent tech blogger, respected, perhaps a bit vitriolic. <laughs> and we're dealing with a lot of vitriol in the modified he blog posts. My okay. Attention, though, because historically he has been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Okay. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he is almost effusive in his praise. Hmm. His fans are accusing him Odd. of shilling for the company, but many of his earliest posts show some of the same manipulations that we saw from Augmented Eye and Nova's blog. Now it's like he's being ghostwritten entirely. Hmm. We're not going to go over to his place and find out he's like a brain in a jar, are we? That's going to be creepy. Lead the way, then. I've marked the location of Shitaro Otsuka's apartment on your map. Excellent. We, we, we doing it. We getting there. We connecting some pretty flimsy dots. After you. Okay, well that's something, I guess. Let's have a little savey save. Now that we finished that dude's rap and got some info off a dude who doesn't like us, apparently. Um... Damn bloggers. Always causing the troubles. Troubles of the world. Okay, let's go check out this Otsuka whatever blogger's home. <laughs> Rillo, let's go. Oh, it's raining now. That's not good for Turing, is it? This is the building. Mr. Otsuka must do well for himself, considering the neighborhood. Shotaru Otsuka, right? That was his name? Not the priciest section of Neo SF. But nice enough for a self-employed tech blogger. That looks pretty decent to me. Perhaps we should just ring the bell? Yeah. We both know it won't be that easy, but it's important to maintain some courtesies. <laughs> Alright. Whoa, hey, it's the dude it's the dude from the TMI offices. What you doing over here? Hey, didn't I see you earlier at TMI? Yes, and Sympathy yelled at me for talking to you. Nice to meet you. I'm Sky. Sky. All right. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you got anything else for us? My gym's closed this week for the holidays. Got to see some family tomorrow. Okay. Why do auto cabs take so long to get out to this part of the city? Don't they know people have places to go? Weird. Named character with full voicing. And you got nothing better for me? I'm going to see then if again, the gym in Burbank is still open. Then again, Broke was named and fully voiced, so... <laughs> he didn't give us anything but some flavor. So... Uh, Burbank, alright. Oh, you got a little kitty cat. Meow. Moderately large tabby cat basks in its own self-satisfaction. <laughs> yep, that sounds like a cat. Very satisfied about being a cat. Alright. Look, look around here. Oh, trees used to be much more common. Almost a city staple. Uh, in San Fran? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Very healthy, too, but you feel like you already knew that part. Let's talk to the tree. What's shaking? Let's talk to it again. Ah. Alright. Let's, uh, use it. <clears throat> Alright. Let's talk to the cat. <laughs> oh, expert meow. <laughs> let's talk to the cat again. <laughs> Alright, let's pet the kitty. Aww. Cute kitty. Alright, alright, alright. Let's take a look around. Oh, we got a fire escape. <laughs> Working person's balcony. Yeah, that's true enough. Can we use it? Shouldn't we try the doorbell before we break in? Well, maybe, but I just want to cut out the middlemans, you know? Engraving crown molding. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's ring the bell. Jeez, killjoy. All right, ring the doorbell. Greetings, guest. I am LJ2. Shataro Otsuka's wrong. Uh, hello, LJ2. Shataro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Thanks, I guess. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Hmm, that's encouraging. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> it really is not encouraging. But it's taken a while. 
That was odd. Maybe try the bell again. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Greetings, guests. I am LJ2, Shataro Otsuka's Ra. Shataro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Okay. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Yeah, this is like total brain in a jar situation here. Again? What is taking so long? Yeah, see, I didn't want to ring the bell again, but you insisted, Turing. <sighs> All right, third time's the charm, right? <laughs> that is the phrase. Once more, with feeling. <laughs> Stop it, it's terrible. But also funny. All right. Dinga, dinga. Greetings, friend. Do you wish to look Shataro as happy as me? <laughs> Shataro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Hmm. All right, so the past two sessions we've had dead people. I would not like to make that three in a row. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Ah, why can't this ever be easy? I swear I'll blow out a fuse before we're done. Thank Hayden for system redundancies. Uh, but if you're still using fuses in the year of our Lord 2064, I think there's something wrong with you. Well, that's that. Let's see if we can find a way into Mr. Otsuka's apartment ourselves. Well, I would really like Sky to go away, so I'd not do an B and E with somebody around here. You weren't prepared for the weather, huh? Not really. Your ROM looks fancy enough to keep track of that. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna blame Turing for us getting caught in the rain here. Can you like go away, Sky? My gym's closed this week for Damn the it. holiday. Alright, well let's use the fire escape. Mr. Otsuka's apartment is on the second floor. Perfect. The fire escape should give us access to his window. Excellent. We just need something to let us reach it. Fuck. Uh, I'm sure there's some piece of detritus or loose end laying around we could use. How about... Oh, that's how these things always work. <laughs> Alright, this is getting a little self-aware. A little self-aware for a, a video game. Oh, uh, Sky, can we borrow your uh, umbrella for just a quick second? You weren't prepared for the weather, huh? No, we weren't. Your ROM looks fancy enough to keep track of that. Yeah, can we borrow your umbrella? About that. Yes! All right. You want my umbrella? Just just for a second, we'll give it back. Not for the weather. We need to use the hook handle to reach the fire escape ladder so we can pull it down. Oh. Oh. If you live here and lost your key card, huh? Yeah. I totally understand. I do that all the time. <laughs> I'm glad we understand each other, Sky. Now, now look, make, make with the umbrella. As much as I'd love to give you this umbrella... I'm kind of using it right now. Dude, like, it'll take two seconds. Your hair won't get ruined. It'll be fine. Just let us borrow it, okay? Where I come from, see, we're all about equal trades. Uh, it's part of our culture. Of course. How, can I interest you in some spoiled milk? Gym culture? <laughs> Sorry, but unless you've got anything interesting to exchange for it, I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, Don't want to get wet. Yeah. Like, uh, fucking what do I have? Huh. Well, I'd feel kind of bad giving him the spoiled milk, so how about the spoiled milk? I'm trying to cut out dairy. Honest. Oh, really? Uh, it's probably less dairy and more, uh, mold at this point. Alright, what else we got? What a brochure. Those guys are gross. Yeah, they you sure a part are. Of that? No, I just got this brochure. Oh, from... you're not? No. Then let's not talk about it, okay? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, what else we got? Well, there's another tree here. Let's the shake of the tree. Could be spiders in those holes. Perfect. It'll make Sky run away. We can take his umbrella. All right, uh, what else we got? Yeah, wait, wait. He's standing under a tree with an umbrella. Come on, dude. Don't bogart the umbrella. Shit. All right, all right, all right. What else we got? Huh, how about the headphones? Hmm, these are pretty cool, but I'm not big into music. I like video games more, and there's no mic on this headset. Ugh, wow, this guy. 
This guy. Um, how about this cat? How about this cat? Ah. How about... Um... What else? How about Yannick's business card? Hey, is this real? The real Yannick Fairlight? Whoa, alright, we got a fanboy over here. You know him? I guess. Of course I do! He's one of the most innovative tech minds of the last few generations! Can I please have this? I'll give you the umbrella. Yours to keep if you want. I don't want to keep it. I just want to pull down the fire escape. <laughs> I think Come it's on. a fair trade. I guess it's a fair trade, but uh, it's, that's weird. Thanks. Here you go. Yeah, we gained like 10 points on the old Sierra point counter <laughs> for that. This is so exciting. <laughs> I'm going to go call him right now. Oh, crap. Well, good thing he doesn't have our number, right? Call him. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Hey, it got us the umbrella, oh, all right? Well, now we have our tool and a pretty spiffy one at that. Let's go. See? Silver linings. Silver linings. All right. Yeah. Could you really have used the brick, too? That would have been awesome. Excellent work. Yeah, we did it. We are adventure gamers. Excellent. Let's use it. All right. So let's look in. He said he's on the second floor. This is the second floor. Uh, can we open the window? How about this one? Oh, oh, there's one right here. Let's look at this one. Unlocked and open. Well, that's not suspicious. This window is unlocked. Let's go in. Yeah, all right. Oh, no. There's a dead body in here, isn't there? I'm not sure. Oh, crap. Not again. If Lexi catches us around another dead body, that's not going to end well for us. My olfactory sensors detect chemicals associated with decaying food and something else I can't pin down. Connect to the mesh. Google, tell us what is the odor of a dead body. It's unfamiliar to me. Oh, I don't like this. Let's look around before we find out the inevitable. Multiple streams on the mesh. I play plays on the TV. Muted. Okay, at least he's got that amount of sense. All right, fine. Lights on. Or, I'm sorry, it's a clapper. Damn it. All right, fine. That's better. Oh, okay, good. What is that? Let's take a look around. Uh, okay, it's just food, apparently. Can we take it? We can't take it. What else we got? Speakers, amps, books. On writing good. Nice. Perfect book title. <laughs> Can we take him? Look at the amp. Wait a minute. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Damn it, I'm trying to think of where I've heard that before. One more time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I could I could I could kinda picture it, but I can't Oh it's right in my mind. Okay, alright. Use the headphones. Oh, alright. Speakers. Careful. Actually, disconnect them. You'll never be able to get those things working again. Yeah, that sounds like old tech. All right. Shit. Fuck. What is that from? Ugh. 
Oh no, there is a body in that chair, isn't there? Oh crap. Not again. Uh look. Shotaro must be plugged into the mesh. He hasn't even noticed us. Yeah, he's I feel like plugged I can in. scream without him knowing. Yeah, that's probably true, unless you can wake the ah, dead. Hi, Mr. Otska! <laughs> Nothing. Oh, crap. Hello, guest. Uh, hello, LJ2. How are you? Shotaro has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. Well, okay, well, too late. He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines, but I will uh, check and deadlines. see if he has a moment to speak with you. All right. We just checked, and he seems busy. Is there anything else I might assist you with? A drink, perhaps? Oh, well. Uh, all right, from the top. How long has he Shotaro been Shotaro has Ill. been under the weather for some time, but I could not tell you precisely when. He rarely has visitors or goes on outings. So this is only slightly abnormal behavior for him. <laughs> I hear that. In fact, you are the first visitor he has had in a while. How long? Several days, in fact. Ooh. Perhaps you could ask him about it yourself. Perhaps. I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. LJ2, you're doing a bang-up job. Is he still making blog he updates? He is. Shotaro is a diligent man, even in the face of such adversity. Uh, okay, so I just saw this. There looks to be a hole in the back of his chair. That's not good. If you are a reader of his work, his next significant piece will be going online tomorrow. I will not spoil it for you. Gee, thanks, LJ2. That's not really what we were asking for, but whatever. I run regular self-checks and have noticed no irregularities in either my hardware or software. I appreciate your concern. If you think I am behaving erratically, perhaps you could mention it to Shataro. He is skilled at maintenance. No, that's all right. Very well. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. I'm always happy to assist. I'm just putting off the inevitable at this point. We're going to have to turn that chair around and actually see what's going on. All right, let's search his desk. He's currently distracted. Nice. <laughs> All right, any other any other hot spots we can? All right, one more time. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> this is so good. All right. Uh, hello. He won't be able to hear us while he's plugged in. Oh, gosh dang it. Oh, no. Can we, like, not leave our fingerprints all over this? Ugh. Oh, oh, no. oh. We're too late. Oh, goodness. How long has he been here? It looks like he's been here for a couple of days. Yeah, that's what Maybe I thought. a little longer. Oh, no. That's not that good. That means whoever did this did it before we even found out about all of this oh Stabbing boy the chest, right through the back of the chair it looks like it severed his carotid artery Ugh. nasty way to I go i don't want to make any assumptions but i can't help but wonder if this was done by the same person who assaulted zin we should probably go tell lexi about this <laughs> rom doesn't even think anything is wrong we need to hurry if i'm right Everyone we've talked to so far is in more danger than we thought. Yeah, let's go talk to Alexia Someone about this. Is following us. We have to find his computer so I can see if I can pull anything relevant off of it. All right, all right. We're not in any danger, I guess. His ROM. But we just talked to his ROM. He had nothing. He had like nothing to go with. Maybe you can find out why it's acting so strange. Yes, I'll use the powers of my amazing journalism to do ROM repair. Ugh. It's so gruesome, yeah. so tragic. I was never prepared to handle anything like this. 
Turing, you've got like a 100% full-on connection to the mesh net. You're telling me this is freaking you out? Okay. I hate this. Yeah, I don't like it either. All right, all right, let's talk, let's talk to his, talk to his Rom. Chitaro has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. Under the weather, huh? He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines. Okay. That's okay. Is there anything else I might as- Ah, uh, all right, he's dead. Shut itself down again. Odd. Let's see if we can pull some useful information off of Mr. Otsuka's computer. If we can find it. Alright. Let's take a look around. Oh, nice. Oh, that's sweet. Cool gear, bruh. Alright. Uh, let's look at it. Use it start downloading these files this would be a really bad time for the police to show up I finished my examination of mr. Otsuka's computer okay can we get out of here and discuss this, this is kind of I didn't find anything particularly interesting but, but I copied some files to be examined later okay that sounds good let's get if the fuck out of here. here we should hurry and go warn Nanya about what we found Charlie and sympathy too uh they might be in immediate danger, so we must act fast. I guess that's true. Let's head for Nanya's business. How about we go talk to Lexi first and get some police back up here? Uh, let's let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm a little creeped out now. Okay, good. Well, after that, we saving. <laughs> okay, we saving just a little bit. Uh. Ew. Ugh. Okay. Good. Good. We're safe for now. Let's go. Uh, where's the police station? Let's go to the police station first. Let's talk to Lexi. I feel like that's an important thing to do. Oh, fuck. I can't even talk to her? Come on. No, I'm good. My lack of civic duty. Thanks, ass. Come on, I really... Uh, fuck. Dang it. I thought that was a good idea, too. All right, let's go talk to Nanya. Hey, bro. Shit! What the hell are you doing back here? Hey, just relax. We're just telling you about a crazy murderer. Wait, wait, let me guess. You stole some of my files, or hacked my brain, or used telepathy or some shit. <laughs> found out someone else got hit by your little ghost in the machine, and when you got there, found out he was deader than New Disco. Wow, that is, um... Very accurate. That close enough? Yeah, actually, that's really um, super close. That is distressingly accurate. <laughs> Thank you, Turing. Well, it wasn't much of a damned guess. Uh, okay. Charlie Nova is dead. Oh, shit. What? Charlie is... The auto cab he was in drove him right off the bridge and into the bay. Well. It's been all over the news for the last ten minutes, and I'm not looking to be next. Yeah, well... I'm getting the hell out of Neo SF, and I'm gonna forget that I ever saw you, ever knew Charlie, ever gave a shit about any of this. That's probably a wise idea, Nanya. Hell, maybe I'll pick up a new career. I'm less likely to get murdered for being a fry cook. That's for damn sure. I don't know, man. People got some nasty things to say about fry cooks. Have a good life! Whoa! Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Why is this happening? Holy fuck. That was very there sudden. There was no one in that car! No heat signatures, no wireless emissions, nothing! Oh. That wasn't even an auto cab! It's a manual! The hell? How is that even possible? I don't know! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Alright, we're in shit! Calm down, turn. We gotta get the it. fuck this out of here! too much! I've had enough! Oh, I don't care crappy. who's controlling the news anymore! 
We got to get out of here, man. Come on. Almost everyone we've talked to so far has died, and I can't live with any more blood on my hands. All right, Turing. We're not investigating this lead any further. As of right now. Ah, shit. All right, what do, <laughs> what do we tell this robot that's steadily going insane? Mm. You're just gonna give up, huh? I'm just done. Just done. We're completely out of leads, and I can't even imagine watching anybody else die. I, I couldn't handle that. Perhaps Tomcat is finished going through all of the data we found. Let's head back to the apartment for now. Maybe we should contact the police? I mean, they weren't very helpful, but... I mean, it was something, right? No? No? Police bad idea? Okay, police ah, bad idea. Home sweet home again. Such that it is. <clears throat> Such that it is. Hey, well, we're not getting shot at or murdered while we're sitting here, and I guess. Before you say anything, I don't feel the need to talk over the events of the day. I I wasn't going to ask that. Too much has happened. I've already forwarded everything we've rooted out to Tomcat, both Hayden's research and our aborted search into the modified mesh articles. They said they would be over in the morning to discuss our next steps. Hmm. I'd suggest that we both get some rest. That's what you want. Perhaps things will look better in the morning. Yeah, maybe. I have maybe. a feeling we're going to be even busier than ever. Crap. Good night. No, I, we really should go to the cops about this, Turing. Like, I'm being really, really, really super hard needling on that. No, damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah, this isn't good. Crap. But hey, there's chapter four. Woo! We saw two people die. Well, one was already dead. We saw another get hit by a, a truck or something. Oh, fuck. Rise and shine, you sleepy layabouts. Jesus, Tomcat, why are you sleep? Why are you sneaking into my apartment now? Gosh dang it. Does everybody know the code on this fucking door? We've got a whole crop of things to do and not a lot of time to get them done. Yeah, no shit, right? How the fuck did you get in here? Hardly had to blink to crack your door. God damn it. Did you know that it's just a knockoff of the Secugate M stroke 14723 stroke B? Yes. Yes, Turing was very helpful in telling me about that. Why'd you make the entry code the birthday of your first dog anyway? Damn it! <laughs> Why does everybody know this? That's what I asked. Shut up, Turing. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, anyhow, I felt a little silly when I realized your window was propped open and I could have just used that. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Why? <sighs> Fine. Huh. Deja vu. Shut up, Turing. <laughs> Damn it. Y'all should be more careful about that. Yeah, especially now that we're on some sort of hit list or whatever, right? Nope, I can't blame you much. The climate control in here seems a bit lacking in the stamina department. What, you mean my overflowing disgusting sink? Or my fried ass laptop? Or the, uh, the fridge that generates spoiled milk on command? <laughs> I get it, my home sucks. <laughs> no worries, doll. What have you learned from the files we sent you? Nothing all that new, to be honest. Ah, crap. Well, that doesn't give us much to go on. Come all on. The files we got from that Vincent fella just covered what we already knew in greater detail. Yeah, well, more detail's good. There is one thing that stands out, though. What's that? At least from what I've read so far. Oh? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Huh? Yeah. See... Hayden's long-term goal wasn't to make a machine intelligence per se. 
right? I guess, if you say so. Don't take it the hmm. wrong way, Turin. You might even already be aware of this after talking to folks involved in your creation. Hayden wanted to make a machine system that could contain human-like intelligence. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, we and knew that. Just from his notes, it, oh, his programming work is... Well, it's something else. Elegant. Artful. Functional? I'm just a kid banging on pots and pans compared to him. Looking at his notes about my interfacing between your AI core and the Lips OS, I barely managed to duct tape the two together at a level he'd approve of. Well, it worked, didn't it? But Still points, I doesn't think it? I'm getting off track here. What I'm trying to say is, he didn't write your code term. No one did. You did. We did. We all did. We wrote Turing's code. Hayden wrote a program that automatically generates a new machine intelligence based off of the hardware profiles the system is installed on. Melody mentioned something about that. What does that mean? Well, we're dealing with self-modifying machine code, right? <laughs> it means Hayden was ignorant and careless. Oh. Wow, shade level too much. It means you don't have to be alone. Exactly. Assuming we can get our hands on Turn's original source code, we could generate new machine intelligences as we please. That sounds like a bad idea, actually. You wouldn't be the only one anymore, Turin. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you don't seem excited by that. I don't blame you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. A little bit. I hardly know what to say. Won't stop but you from saying something, once though, Once you consider it? the stuff I found in the research, it gets a damn sight more complicated. Like getting stuff the parts? Stuff about Big Blue and Oof. Parallax's planned launch. Yeah. Uh-oh. Scary music. Vincent speculated that Hayden's research into me would have interfered with the launch. And that's why they... Turn. That's why someone had him killed. The potential for wrongdoing with an AI like Big Blue is almost beyond belief. No, I believe it. People are dumb and stupid. Even if I don't go into all the crooked shit the people running Parallax could pull off with it. Yeah, you don't need to say anything about that. We already kind of know. I mean, you're built different, Turin. Your personality profile would degrade pretty quickly outside your original hardware, so we don't got to worry too much about you going haywire, right? Uh... Here's hoping. But Big Blue ain't got that limitation. If it decides to go off the rails... It's already off the rails, right? I mean, it's on the entire mesh net. That's what we're getting out of this. Well, we'd be screwed faster than a rabbit in spring. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's... That's a... That's a good expression. I'm mistaken that good one. Good and proper. How likely is that? Pretty fucking likely, you know, right? I'd say it's inevitable. Nice. Guaranteed. Yeah, 100%. Certain. In fact... It's already begun. In a sense, it's already happened. Called it! What? Wrote the script. I know what's going on. Their prototype build. Baby Blue? <laughs> I'm almost certain it's loose on the mesh. Crap. The research notes on the project show, clearly and with certainty, that the test AI was shut down once it tried fiddling with the data on the mesh net in the hope that it would increase its chances of survival. I guess it didn't think that doing scary shit like that would get it turned off. But some part of it but still that survived, was right? A year ago. Ah, scary Vincent music's told back. Us about all of this too. Well, I think Baby Blue is the bugger that was changing all those articles on the mesh to be pro-parallax, or at least anti-human revolution. Huh. Okay, that makes do a little bit of sense. Do you think Baby Blue had anything to do with the attacks on Nanya, Shitaro, Charlie, and Zin? Pretty good possibility at this point. <laughs> I don't know. We 
We can't rightly rule it out. It might have found an agent in the real world to keep its existence secret, but I doubt it. Mm. Killing people is messy as hell, and it runs against its apparent goal of convincing the public that AI ain't scary. Yeah, well, when you don't program in uh, Asimov's three laws, you know. I think we have a third that party happen. to clean it all up. And my money is on someone from Parallax. Whoever took out Hayden, I'll bet they're in full damage control mode now. <laughs> Funny, you can't control damage without doing more, can you? We already know they don't care who gets hurt. <laughs> Free AI is bad, Rami AI is just annoying. What next? All right, how's this tie back to Turing? I think we got to do something to stop the launch of Big Blue. Yeah, I hear you. It's too dangerous. I don't want a company like Parallax in sole control of the most powerful machine intelligence on the planet. Do you? No, honestly, I don't. If we can get Hayden's original source code for Turin and upload it onto the mesh through Parallax's server core. Uh. We can turn every single ROM into a sapient individual. Uh, wait a minute. Let's think about this for a second here. <laughs> Whoa, geez, and dang. Let's go with dang. I like my dang. That'll stop Big Blue from being able to become the monolithic threat we're scared of. By just being a bunch of little distributed threats. Okay. We could also upload a patch for every ROM to prevent Big Blue's reach from using their resources. Well, you just got this patch sitting around? Without the ability to control all ROMs, Big Blue loses its ultimate power. <laughs> ultimate power? And I wouldn't be alone anymore. Ah, uh, but Turing... There would be millions. But I'm here for you, buddy. Come on, you're not alone. Hundreds of millions of ROMs, just like me. Oh, dear. Well, you're cutting edge of ROM tech, Turin. Most of today's ROMs wouldn't be quite as smart or capable, but if I do it right, code should propagate across the mesh to all future ROM activations. It'll be a self-sustaining thing. Huh. You'll be in good company soon enough. It's a big decision. Yeah, no shit. We're talking about the metaphorical singularity. <laughs> and soon to be quite literally. The literal singularity. The point of Ooh, nice. no return. Good music. Excuse me for a sec. Ah, all right. Is it okay for us to make this decision for the entire world? Uh, ethically, probably not. We don't have any other choice. We do, actually, but... This okay. is gonna happen, one way or another. I guess either Big Blue or a whole bunch of Turing's, right? Either Parallax gets to control the debut of worldwide machine intelligence, or we let the ROMs control themselves. Uh... What do you think? Ah, uh, jeez, why you gotta ask me? Come on, don't... Ugh... Shit. Uh, you know, I've been playing this pretty straight up till now, I guess. But it boils down to no. Yes, or I'm sorry, no, fuck yes, and uh, and I'm still kind of uh, about this. I'm not sure I'm up for that kind of responsibility. Yeah, well, neither am I, so don't ask this meatbag. But I think that even if it is a shock for the world, there's no time like the present. I guess that's pretty oversimplified, but go with it. Despite all the political back and forth over hybrids and brain-controlled androids, the 
the world is becoming more and more comfortable with the idea of non-human people. If we let Parallax dictate how the very first machine intelligence is introduced, who knows how long it'll be before an AI like me can be integrated into society normally. Well, whether the world is ready for AI or not, we're here to stay. Uh, I might as well throw my chips in for my own side. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm worried about here, Turing. Us versus them type thing. Let's do this. Okay. On our terms, not theirs. Okay, I can agree with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love nothing more than a little anarchy. <laughs> All right, Tomcat, please settle down just a little bit. It does have a certain poetic justice, does it not? It, you, you guys are talking like we can just flip a switch and make this happen. You realize we've got a lot of work to do, right? Parallax removed Hayden to protect their project from his creation, and now I, his creation, will bring their project down. Uh, just for what's okay. right. Okay. All right. Okay. Perhaps after all ROMs are sapient, I will be able to convince them to cut off Parallax's access to the mesh as a data collection tool entirely. Good luck. Paying them back double indeed. I like the way you think, Turin. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is getting kind of deep. First things first, we need to get our hands on Turin's source code. Yeah, let's go back to Hayden's apartment. I'm sure the he's got it there. The research notes we've gotten so far are helpful, and it's given me an idea how to spread a little bit of Turin all over the place, but they don't actually have Hayden's programs. Yeah, true enough, I guess. I can't replicate them myself, so we'll have to steal them. Which means we have to go to Parallax, right? Hopefully we have the best hacker in Neo SF right here. Wow. All right, Turing, take that nose out of her butthole, please. <laughs> Don't you make me blush now. Yeah, exactly. We can get the source code from one of hey, Parallax's Shane, secondary data centers. Let's see ya. One of, one of their secondary data centers? You wouldn't think they would store that in one of the primary ones with all the beefy security and all that shit? It's all probably right. stored in a couple of different places, but yeah, exactly. I already have one in mind. The, the, you mean the one we tapped into uh, before? I've done a little groundwork already, but I'm going to need physical access to do my thing. Of course. Well, you want to come with us this time so we're not dealing with this over the wires, I guess? <laughs> Yay, breaking and entering. <laughs> we can do that for you. You're a peach, hon. Yeah, damn right. We're very sweet. I've got a couple of ideas on how to get y'all in, but I think we're gonna need to mostly play it by ear. Oh, good. Great. Now that we know people are getting murdered over this, playing it by ear sounds fantastic. We should do it soon, though. First thing this morning. Okay. Guard shift don't change until 8 when the office opens, so they'll be sleepy and distracted. I would, too, at 8 a.m. Once y'all have done that, I think I can incorporate the code into a custom firmware update that'll wake any ROM it's installed on. I'll have to upload it, physically, to Parallax's main server farm. Let me guess, you want us to do that too? And that's on Treasure Island. Um, sorry, come again? From there, the ROMs will install like a normal patch from the company. No code so signing? don't set anything on fire right away, you hear? Damn It'll it, be a no. pain to get into the main <laughs> complex otherwise. Please, I want to set some fires. That sounds like a workable plan. Really? I've got several questions. I hope you don't mind if I take a short walk, Tomcat. Oh, oh, you want to go out on your own, huh? Like, after all this shit's been going down? I know I gave the go-ahead on this, but I still need to think a few things through for myself. Okay, I guess. Sure thing, doll. I'll hash out a rough plan by the time you get back. Please tell me I'm at least I'll going with you. Then. Thank you. I won't be long. Ah, uh, crap. Well, this, this isn't going to end well. Well, I guess I should say thanks for helping out. Yeah, never mind that I'm the whole fucking driver behind this thing. But I kind of need to get something off my chest. Oh, crap. What? I'm actually glad Turin went out. Uh, 
they're a bit naive and I'm not sure they'd really understand. Okay, go on, human to human. What what do we got? There's enough shit to worry about without me piling more on top. Shit. What? <sighs> I don't even know where to start. From the beginning, if you could, please. What's going on? Yeah. At the beginning. The beginning. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Cause yeah, it's, it's always the thing you you tell to somebody that needs to get some shit out in the air. So, the truth is, I'm not from North Carolina. I only visited my gramps there. Okay, that's not that big a deal. I'm California born and raised. Napa Valley. Okay, how'd you pick up the accent then? Over the years, it's kind of grown into a community of wealthy old folk who like things and people who don't change. <laughs> my parents were no exception, and I was a little too different for their tastes. Mm. It was hard growing up with them. They never gave me too much hell, but things were tense. Especially after my sister Catherine moved out. Okay. Uh. Okay. Go on. Eventually, she was set up securely in Neo SF, and she offered to let me live with her until I got out of school. I think my parents were a little relieved to see me out. I was ecstatic to be free of them. Huh? I worshipped the ground my sister walked on. <laughs> And that was before I found out what she did for a living. Okay, this all sounds, sounds pretty standard so far. She was flashy, and colorful, and a whirlwind of activity. And she was a brilliant hacker. Okay, respect. Respect. She was Tomcat. Uh, okay, I don't like where this is going now. She let me learn at her feet and... Once I was good enough, folded me into her little coup of crackers, hell-bent on changing the world. <laughs> She's the one who orchestrated the original hack on Parallax, exposing to the world the holes in their original MeshNet security. All right. I was just along for the ride. She always knew she would get caught, though. How could she not? Parallax was one big Goliath, and she flinged a stone square in their face. Yeah, well, they probably had it coming. She was looking at serious jail time, and willing to eat it to do what we all thought was right. But, but it just wasn't right. It wasn't fair for her to throw her life away, and I couldn't let her. She was always better at software than hardware, so I rigged all of our computers to self-destruct. Uh oh. When the feds showed up at our door, all of our server farms were already up in smoke. I gave him quite a fireworks show. Before she could stop me, I turned myself in as Tomcat and took credit for the whole job. Hmm. Okay. She tried to talk me out of it, but without the physical evidence, they couldn't prove she had anything to do with it. So how could they prove any of you had anything to do with it then? It's all right, though. It was for the best. I figured I'd just get a year of juvie. I'd be back out in no time. But... No big deal, right? Especially when compared to the time that she'd have been jailed for as an adult. And so, I waited patiently. I cooked up so many ideas on how I was going to make it up to her. I knew she must have blamed herself. Hmm. Okay. But before I ever got out... Oh, uh, back to having a bad feeling about this. There was an accident. Ah, crap. Hit an auto right. cap hit my sister. She died on impact. And that was it. It's hard. Blaming yourself when things go wrong because you did something right. I took her sentence so that she could have a laugh. And instead, not being in jail killed her. Yeah. What if? What if? What if? Oh, if I had just let her take the blame. I can't stop thinking about how she'd still be here. Can't do that to yourself. And no matter man. what I told myself, in my heart, I couldn't believe it was just an accident. Do you know how rare it is for those things to hit a human? Pretty fucking rare, but then again, we've had an auto cab go haywire and kill Charlie Nova, and a manually driven dump truck looking thing hit, uh, hit Nanya. So, uh, not that rare anymore, it Someone seems. Someone knew who she was. Someone knew what she did, and someone wanted to make sure she would never do it again. So I became Tomcat, 
I've spent years trying to find information inside Parallax to prove someone inside the company called a hit on my sister. Mm. Failing that, I've been trying to find a way to bring them down the way she always wanted. Mm. Catherine was... <laughs> if you had met her, just for a moment, you would understand. She was everything I could ever want to be. But over time, that little bot has grown on me. Eh, maybe you have too. <laughs> Gee, thanks for the afterthought for the fellow human. Appreciate that. Uh, do you honestly think we're still on the right course? I do. Okay. The threat of Big Blue is real, and we're the only ones who can do something about it. It's bigger than me and my vendetta. Yeah, that's true. I just wanted to get that all off my chest. Okay, fair. My sister, she'd smack me if she knew I've been holding this grudge. I'm trying to learn to forgive myself. Yeah, that's not easy either, is it? Still, I won't let her go unavenged. We're so close to bringing them all to justice. I just... I know she'd be proud. I know if she were here, she'd be right next to us, helping until the end. I've been carrying all this for so long, and... I finally feel like I'm getting somewhere. Thanks for hearing me out. Yeah. I hope we can really do this. Oh yes, Turing's back. Wow, I actually Friends. was surprised that Turing came back. <laughs> I've right. returned. Yeah, we, we noticed. Thanks, Turing. I'm ready. Uh, you look kind of ready. Good. We've wasted enough time already. I've marked the location of the data center on your map. You'll have to go in and get the source code mostly on your own, but I'll load on some programs that'll give you an edge. We'll do our best, Tomcat, but... Or die trying. What happened to your accent? Uh... Oh, don't you worry about that. It comes and goes like a bag of kitty. <laughs> <laughs> get going, you two. I didn't notice her accent cut out there, so apparently Turing has been paying more attention in the last... 20 seconds than I have the past, like, 10 hours. I have lots of code to write, and you have a lot of data to download. Stay in touch. Yeah, we got a lot of puzzles to solve. Of apparently. course, Tomcat. Thank you again. Eh, uh, okay. She's I. Right. She's I. Don't right. worry about it, hon. We've all been hurt by Parallax. It's about time we hurt him back. Two wrongs don't good make luck. it right. But it sure feels good sometimes, doesn't it? Well, alright. Well, here. Let's just... Oh, she's <laughs> just hanging out here. Okay, good. Somebody else is hanging in my shitty ass apartment. That's super good. Well, since we just started chapter five here, it's probably about time for a little savey save. Ugh, okay. Hack the planet. Boom jams. All right, well, we made a lot of progress tonight, and it's getting kind of late. <laughs> so I feel like we should pick this up next time. Let's pick it up next time, because a lot of the shit got real heavy right at the end there. Oh my goodness. Woo! Ah! Fuck. Okay. All right. Next stream will be Friday night, 7 p.m. CDT. Depending on how quickly this shakes out, we might be finishing it up on Friday. Or we might be spilling it in the next week, so we'll see what happens. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Friday. Bye-bye.